Alright, so I was cruising through the internet looking at all the uh, video gaming info, news, and everything. Not having it, Game Caviar Studios, by the way. And I was, uh, I came across something that I, that, it, it almost seemed fake, but it's, it was dead serious, and I don't think that this is really going to work. I came across a video of somebody on the internet that's calling for a, a community blackout of Modern Warfare 3 on April 20th, 2012. Now, they're saying that on that day, they want nobody to play the game at all, worldwide. And they want everybody to just put their controllers down for 24 hours, starting on April 20th. It's not, you know, it's next month. It's, it's the 31st now. I thought it was an April Fool's joke, but it's not even the first. But anyway, some of the things that were listed in there was uh, like lag conversation, spawn, the spawn system is screwed, the uh, guns are overpowered, the Kimbo machine guns or something, machine pistols. They want tactical insert insertion taken out of kill confirmed. <sighs> um, when I saw it, after I figured out that it was real, I was like, this isn't going to work. This is not going to work. I mean, the way I look at it, even if everybody did do that for that one day, it's not going to change anything. It's really not. Like, the only thing that's going to cause Activision to, to uh, Activision and Infinity Ward to really change how they make this game is for them to not make as much money off the game. And that's it. Uh, that's what it comes down to. Once they push this game out and they start making millions and millions of dollars, they really don't have any initiative to fix the game because they've already made the money. So, why would something like... A blackout on April 20th, the worst day of the year, by the way. Yeah, why would that be effective in getting them to change the game? They don't care. They've already released a game that was damn near unplayable. I can't even get... I play, I had it on Xbox and PS3, and I traded in my Xbox version because it was so damn unplayable. And PS3 is almost there. But you got the same thing. The lag conversation spawn system is horrible. I was playing it earlier today, and I was getting raped by the spawn system. It's stupid. If you kill somebody, they literally spawn you behind that person that killed you so you can kill them. That's dumb. But uh, doing a blackout on damn uh, 420, which is the National Smoke Weed Day, is not gonna really, uh, it's not gonna affect the way this game is at all. It's not. It's really not. And for people to still want Infinity Ward and Activision to uh, put out some sort of uh, patch to fix this game is almost bordering lunacy. You know, I want them to put out a patch too, but it's obvious like they they don't care. If you look at the the uh, the patch details from Battlefield and you compare it to Modern Warfare, then it Battlefield blows it out the water. They just released a patch on for Battlefield on PS3, and the damn list of things that they changed was uh, enormous. You know, and you don't really see that from Call of Duty. You know, they might put out a patch that says, change this, change that, nerf this, buff that, rework lag compensation. But it's, it's all, it's, it's BS. You know they really haven't done anything. Okay? If they said that they released a patch that fixed lag compensation and all this other crap, it's not even, it, it doesn't matter because they're lying. They're not going to change that. They're not going to take it out of the game. They proved that. They're not going to take quickscoping out of the game. They proved that. They're not going to take noob tubes out of the game. They proved that. They're not going to fix the spawn system. They've proved that. They're not going to do it because they have the money. They have the money. It's like if you, if, if, if you're held hostage and the hostage negotiator and, the, you know, the hostage taker is like, look, I want a million dollars in a helicopter. If you give them the million dollars in a helicopter, they don't have any incentive to let you free, you know? And that's exactly what it is. We all have paid them $60 or more for this game and the damn um, Call of Duty Elite, which I still haven't paid for, but a lot of people have, and they've given us a game that is broken and it's been proven to be broken and they have done absolutely nothing about it because they don't care. We've all been bamboozled. I think it's time for a lot of people to realize this and actually understand that the only way to beat these people is to not feed them. And by feeding them, I mean buying their product. So 
the next time a Call of Duty game is released, especially from Infinity Ward, please keep this in the back of their mind how they screwed this up and screwed all of us over and did nothing about it and don't buy the game. Buy Battlefield, buy uh, Medal of Honor, buy uh, any other first-person shooter that's on the market. Just so these idiots can understand that we, as consumers, are not gonna um, are not gonna take it anymore. We have to stand up, otherwise they're just gonna keep running us over. And doing this, a blackout on one day out of the year, is not gonna do it. I'm not having it. Game Caviar Studios, and I'm out.